<sighs> Almost another sweep. Almost another broom day. This close to another sweep, baby. Uh, the final 40 seconds in the Wake Forest game could have gone either way. It did not fall Wake Forest's way. Wake Forest plus nine turns out to be a loss, but we have Buffalo. We have Buffalo for another free play winner. Buffalo stomps at home against a team they lost to earlier. We talked about that in a video. Seven, zero, and one now on the free play run. Your boy is on fire. Another top tier winner as well. For anybody who jumped on yesterday for the weekend, St. Louis minus eight, 86 to 72 over UMass. Top tier run is back up to 21 and 11. We are now back up 10 games on the top tier run. Your boy remains on fire. And that's the recap. Two and one, that's it. Top tier winner puts us up on the day for sure. Slow day in sports betting yesterday. No NBA action. We're in, we're in the 76ers hat. Support my guy Embiid. Support my guy Ben Simmons. Let's go. All-star weekend. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, slow day yesterday, but a profitable day yesterday. All right? Period. I'm still winning as a whole. Look, my top tier run is good. My free play run is good, right? My soccer run is good. My NBA run is good. My college basketball has picked up tremendously. My premium run has been good. So now what is left? My recent red alert run. Penny here, ghostpicksats.com, the number one sports consultant in the business, Saturday, March 6th. I'm not playing. All right, we just went over it. Let's do it again. Top tier run, 21 and 11. Good. Free play run, 7 0 and 1. Good. Soccer run, 12, 4 and 1. My last 15. Good. NBA has been hot. College basketball, like I said, has picked up tremendously. Premium plays have been good. Coming off a 6-0 day on Thursday. Coming off another 2-1 day yesterday with another top-tier winner. Leaves us with what? Red alert plays. It's no secret. It's no secret I currently have the red alert monkey on my back. We all know that my last few big plays did not end well. We know it. I know it. You know it. You know it. I know it. And I'm not playing. All right. I have one today. I'm pulling the trigger, right? I will get this damn big play monkey off my back. Are you going to bet it with me or are you not? Period. I'm sizzling hot. Today's the Benny Sizzler. 10 a.m. Eastern time. The play is in soccer. Get with it. Right? Get linked up. I'm telling you, $39.99, one big play. It's not the normal Red Alert 50, right? It's $10 cheaper. Mostly due in part to the fact that it is soccer. And I don't have a massive soccer following at the moment, even though it's been uh, profitable. I have a lot of people on my soccer because they're on with me daily. But as far as just that soccer following, we're going to get that going up, up, up. If you're not betting soccer with me, I, I don't know that I don't know what else to say. You know, I'm winning this play today. All right. It's the only run. We just went down the runs, all my runs. It's the only run currently that is haunting me, you know, and that's just, and that's my recent run. And I'm the guy who has ripped off six in a row on red alerts, seven in a row on red alerts before, you know, my red alert runs have been fire before. And I'm due to get back on the board. Even if you play the odds, like uh, like I know some of you do, right? If you do like the like picking and choosing when to hop on or when to fade simply by following my wins and losses. If I'm losing for a little bit, boom, you hop on and you, uh, you start riding the wave before it turns into a wave. It's not dumb, you know? Look, it's there. The write-up is there. It's my soccer game of the week. It's 10 a.m. Eastern time, $39.99 in the description of this video. And that's all I'm saying about it. I'm done talking about it. Get on board today. 10 a.m. Eastern time. Get on board today.
weekend, 50 bucks, right? We have UFC tonight, UFC 259, which is all, I'm all obviously also excited for that. Uh, and if I can set the tone early on Saturday morning, on, on, on this morning, right? Just like last Saturday, game over, game over. Everyone who jumped on the weekend, you already got the red alert game of the week, Benny Sizzler. All right. You already got the UFC. You already got the 6-0 and Thursday. You already got the 2-1 and Friday. You know we are about to hit today. Weekend is there. 50 bucks. UFC is there. $29.99. Three title fights. Israel Adesanya, one of my favorites. And the list just goes right down the line. Ba-da-da-da-da. Big UFC event. The proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. I'm going to continue to keep my head down, stay humble, keep working, and let the numbers do the talking. All right? Uh, everything else is in your hands. Do you want to win with the bend up? Are you going to pull that trigger? It's there. If you want to get linked up with everything together, the red alert, uh, the, the, the game of the week, the sizzler, you know, the Saturday sizzler, the UFC event package and the Saturday and Sunday, everything combined, just hit me with an email. Benny.ghostpicksats at gmail.com will whip you something up. All right, let's get a free play. 6 p.m. Eastern time, Duke at UNC again. Right? Well, well, well. We get to revisit this little rivalry game yet again. First time around was at Duke. I had a free play right here on YouTube in that game, taking UNC plus the points at Duke. Nice free play winner. And if I remember correctly, I believe I said I felt UNC was going to win the game outright, but we still took the points as security. Well, now we're back. Same game, right? This time at UNC. I think it was, yeah, I think UNC was plus a point. I don't remember what it was. Maybe we took UNC money line. Was it UNC money line? I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and look now. But anyway, we're still taking UNC. 6 p.m. Eastern time, Duke at UNC, free play of the day. We're taking UNC minus three points, and the game speaks for itself. There is nothing I can get up here and say that really matters, right? It's a rivalry game. Throw your numbers out the window. These two teams will come to play. It's always a battle. Throw everything right out the window, all right? People are going to take Duke today because they lost to UNC last game out, and they're back looking for revenge. People are going to take UNC today at home. There's not a whole heck of a lot I can say. Uh, it's Duke UNC. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I will say that I like UNC. Uh, I, I like the way that UNC is playing in general, first off. I like the way UNC is playing at home. Secondly, you know, 10-1 and one, their last 11 at home. I like UNC uh, defensively. They're better on the glass, you know, grabbing the boards. And although I... Like, I, I even... I think even three points can be a lot. Three points can be a lot in one of these rivalry games, right? Anything more than like a bucket is is a lot. And, if, you know, three points is a little bit, you know, the three-point bucket, you know. But I, I think three is doable here. So, it, it, you know, it's hard to take the same team twice in this rivalry type setting, but we're going to get it done here, all right? So today we go for our eighth free play win in a row. Free play of the day, we're taking UNC minus three. Get on board the Benny Saturday Sizzler, $39.99, one play. Um, game of the week, let's set the tone early on our Saturday. We go from there. Uh, then we go into the rest of the, the plays for the weekend, 50 bucks. Then we will go right from that into a huge UFC event, $29.99. And again, if you guys want a, co a, a combination of everything, just hit me with an email, benny.ghostpicksats at gmail.com. We can do the red alert plus the Benny Saturday uh, Sunday package and plus the, U uh, the UFC. Now I'm saying UNC. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's get out there and have a good day. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Whenever you're watching this, as always, good luck. God bless. Grind on, baby. Cheers.